Still to come on Good Day Austin, February is National Cancer Prevention Month. And this morning we're talking about some of the warning signs of colon cancer. Stay with us. Colon cancer is the third most commonly diagnosed cancer and it's striking more young people than ever before. But a race that's going on next Saturday is hoping to get more people screened and get the word out about the dangers of colon cancer. With us this morning we have Dr. Ben Pham with Austin Gastroenterology. Gastroenterology, Ooh, that's, a, that's a big word. Um, let's talk a little bit about colon cancer because I feel like this is something that people think happens to people whenever they're older, right? Sure, right. You're absolutely right. You know, it's actually quite an alarming uh, statistic that's recently come out that has shown that colon rectal cancer is occurring much earlier. As a matter of fact, one in every five newly diagnosed colon rectal cancers are occurring between the ages of 20 and 54. Wow. Um, and so it's actually pretty frightening. Yeah, that's fairly young. I mean, people probably don't even have it in their minds that they have to go get screened or keep an eye out for symptoms. No, absolutely not. And some of the symptoms that we look at when we talk about colorectal cancer uh, are things such as weight loss, you know, blood in your stools, uh, abdominal pain, um, uh, change in your bowel habits, the stool consistency and caliber. But one of the most common symptoms is actually having no symptoms at all. And so as a result, that's why it's so important that we bring awareness to colorectal cancer mm -hmm. and colorectal cancer screening. Yeah. Do you think it's important maybe for people to start getting screened sooner than they normally recommend them? Yeah, I mean, that's actually an actual, uh, uh, an excellent point. Currently, the guidelines of screening is at the age of 50 for most individuals. Younger, if you have a history of colorectal cancer in your family or other types of inherited diseases, but last year, the American Cancer Society actually came out with new guidelines that said we should try to put the screening at the age of 45. Uh, and so that's really bringing to light this concerning epidemic about how colorectal cancer is starting at a younger age. Yeah, and you have this walk coming up that we were just talking about. This is really important because it is raising money to get those screenings to people who need them. Absolutely. The Get Your Rear Gear is something that's been done now for many years, and Austin Gastroenterology has been working with the colorectal cancer, uh, colon cancer foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, the whole goal towards the gear, uh, walking, get your rear in gear, is to raise money to increase awareness and education regarding colorectal cancer screening, regarding what are the signs and symptoms to tell patients, and also about how to get screening done. And that's one of the most important things. And we're looking at all this video, and it's families, right, that participate. Anybody Absolutely. can be a part of it. Absolutely. And I mean, that's what's the best part about it. Not only is it healthcare providers uh, and, and individuals who are affected by colon cancer, but it's the support and the family and friends of colorectal cancer. And, uh, and so it's a, it's, a, it's a very large epidemic. It's the second, cause, second leading cause of colorectal cancer for deaths uh, of cancers. And so if people want to sign up, uh, where can they go get that info? Sure. You can get, uh, go on uh, Google to get your rear and gear or go through the, uh, the Colon Cancer Coalition. Um, uh, colon dot org. Cancer mm -hmm. Coalition dot org, or also Austin at gastro .com. That's right. Perfect. So that's good if folks who are maybe hearing about the Austin Marathon today but don't want to run something at long. <laughs> right, yeah. it's only 5K. 5K. There you go. 5K is much more manageable for exactly. a lot of people. That's right, and it's done out at Camp Maybury, which is a great facility. We've done it there uh, for the past several years, and, and it's wonderful. Yeah, a great event to sign up and for and bring the whole family for just a, a, good, a good cause. Thank you so much for coming Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Thank you very much for having and me. And telling us all about this. Thank so, you. Again, for everybody at home, that's going on next weekend.